Special Counsel Robert Mueller certainly hasn't disappointed as of late, has he? It's been an explosive past few days to say the least with the mountains of indictments handed out and Rick Gates' plea deal. Mueller has seemingly been several steps ahead of all of us for a while now, and has kept us guessing as to what he has secretly done, or better yet what he'll do next. Well, according to an on-air MSNBC legal expert, it was proven last Friday when Mueller obtained grand jury indictments against the Russians for conspiring to rig the election in Donald Trump's favor that the Russian hacking was in fact an act of cyber war. The term cyber war is very significant here. Although the federal government has yet to clearly define what counts as an act of cyber war, considering treason charges require that an act of war be involved, which has led to presidential historian Tim Naftali to say the following when CNN's Jim Squitter then asked, can the president fire Rosenstein or Mueller? Naftali answered, no. In fact, I think this is a game changer. I think any attempt to undermine the Mueller investigation, at this point, could credibly be described as treason. This is a very different we're in a very different situation now. This is the first time we've had an indictment, in this case, involving a foreign government. There have been indictments of foreign governments before. It's usually intelligence efforts. But this is an indictment of a foreign covert action. Clearly. Trump and his fellow Republicans have done things that undermine the investigation. From Twitter attacks, to phony memos, there have been countless things that were aimed to undermine Robert Mueller's investigation. It's so blatant that it can't even be argued otherwise. Although Trump campaign advisers Paul Manafort and Rick Gates have already been charged with conspiracy against the United States, which is considered the peacetime equivalent to treason charges, if it can be demonstrated that either of them knew the Russians were hacking the election while they were committing their own related crimes with Russia, they too can be charged with conspiracy to commit treason. For that matter, anyone and everyone involved with a Trump-Russia scandal could be charged with treason at this point. Nevertheless, make no mistake about it, the guessing games as to what Mueller is up to may continue but he clearly does everything for a treason. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this report? Scroll down to comment below.